Hello Tokyo Revengers fans, the latest episode of the anime was filled with suspense, action, and drama. Taiju declares his intention to kill Yuzuha, and the tension in the air is palpable. Yuzuha is still determined to fight him, even though she knows the danger she is in. Meanwhile, Hakai is frozen with fear, unable to do anything to help Yuzuha. The situation looks grim, but Takemichi steps in to stop Taiju. Unfortunately, his efforts are in vain, and Taiju continues to dominate the fight. However, Takemichi realizes that Yuzuha is the key to everything. In the original timeline, Yuzuha killed Taiju after Kisaki incited her to come to the chapel, and Hakai took the blame for the murder. Takemichi convinces Hakai that they need to defeat Taiju to protect Yuzuha and ensure that Hakai does not become corrupted. Yuzuha takes up a knife against Taiju to kill him, but Mitsuya arrives and takes the knife away from her. Mitsuya breaks the truce he made with Taiju and fights him, stating that one should never strike their younger sister. Taiju easily overpowers Mitsuya, but Mitsuya refuses to give up. Jifuyu and Inupi join the fight, and things start to heat up. However, Takemichi realizes that Mikey and the others are not coming to save them, and he feels dejected. Despite this setback, Mitsuya asks Takemichi and Chifuyu to handle Inupi and Koko. He wants to fight Taiju, and he asks Hakai to fight with them for Yuzuha's sake. The fight scenes are intense, but the action is below average. The fights lack skill and thrill, and the one-sided domination of some characters is pointless. However, the episode manages to include a few comic scenes that provide much-needed relief. The timing and unpredictability of the comedy worked well, and it brought a smile to the viewers' faces. The setting of the episode did not change, and it focused on the single issue of Hakai not being able to overcome his fear. As a result, some parts of the episode seemed repetitive and redundant. Additionally, it is hard to accept that Hakai is ready to kill his brother, but he cannot fight him even with the support of the others when killing negatively affects the human psyche more. This central issue raises questions and confuses viewers, causing them to lose interest in the storyline. Despite its flaws, the episode does have some highlights. Takemichi's determination to fight Taiju, even though he knows he is outmatched, is admirable. His courage and perseverance in the face of adversity are inspiring. He thinks about Hinata and stands his ground, determined to defeat Taiju and take over the Black Dragon Gang. Overall, the latest episode of the anime was a mixed bag. It had its moments of suspense, action, and drama, but it also had its flaws. The episode's central issue raised questions and confusion, and some fight scenes lacked skill and thrill. Nevertheless, the episode's comic scenes brought some much-needed relief, and Takemichi's determination to fight Taiju was inspiring. Thanks for watching please like and subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.